Hey, good evening. So I'm back, and I want to touch on a few things, because tomorrow is Monday, so it's a brand new start to a week that we, the people of Indian River County, can begin to end corruption in this fine place. So I know there's a lot of people who enjoy these videos, but let me tell you something. We're going to hold a seminar, a few of the members of Team Success, and we're going to explain to you, the fine folks of Indian River County, how you can request every little cute thing that I'm able to request. You know, these little pretty CDs, um, every single public records request that, that, that has your name attached to it. There's this beautiful thing. It's called the Freedom of Information Act. I like how in the beginning I get so much viewers and then they realize that I'm not interacting with the police and then they, they go away. But anyway... This is for the people who want to be informed. So, let me give you the disclosure once again. I'm not an attorney, but I play one on Facebook every once in a while. But I am a paralegal. So, the Freedom of Information Act, it, it allows you access. So, we have Chapter 119 of the Sunshine Laws. So, you can request any type of dash camera footage. If you see your favorite deputy out there and you say, you know something, I just want to see what they're doing during your 10 hour shift you put a request in oh you need to email you ask oh all you gotta do is email miss monique jenkins and i'll make sure that i include her email i almost know it by heart and it's somewhere somewhere uh anyway but anyhow monique jenkins is who does the public records request shout out to miss jenkins you've been great the last few years she always gets me back everything quickly so i want to talk about the mobile video recording general order from the sheriff's office. What does that big word mean? It's their dash cameras. You know, the ones that they turn on and off whenever the hell they want to. I want to give you five clauses when they're supposed to use the cameras, when there's the dash cameras are supposed to be engaged. This is coming right from the general order sent out by your sheriff. So I'm going to summarize a couple of them because they're very long but the first one says all motor vehicle and pedestrian incidents or whenever a member responds for a call of service and the citizens activity can be observed from the patrol vehicle numero uno numero dos all other incidences where there is a reason to believe a law has been violated next all fatal accidents Next one, the helicopter. If they're pursuing someone from up above, there's many different uh, helicopter little rules there that pertains mainly to, to chopper in the sky. The last one, this is the catch-all here. Any other incidents that a member of his or her immediate supervisor deems necessary. Why is this important? Let me explain. So every time that I've come in contact with them, um, a few times I've been recorded, and I've actually been recorded in areas that there was an expectation of privacy. You know what that means? That they illegally recorded me. Now, if, if what this mobile video recording general order says is, it goes on and says that it shall not be activated for entertainment or recreational use. So guess what? When they say, oh, damn it, we got to deal with Michael Marshy, and this would be hilarious to laugh at later on. No, you don't get to do that. It says it right here by your sheriff. Why is this important? Let me tell you. So I was recorded for a civil standby for me to get my stuff. You know what the deputy decided to do? He decided to record me. Not only did he record me, he recorded me inside of a garage. Now, a garage is not a public place, is it? Good old Deputy Kohler. So when he recorded me, I didn't even know it. The other people, shut up, Sean. The other people who were being recorded inside the garage, they didn't even know it. So the deputy violated me, okay? He recorded me without my consent. Without, it was an area that I had an expectation of privacy. That's number one. Now, going back to the mobile vehicle recording here, when I was detained and I was stopped just a month ago 
per their policy, there should be dash camera footage. Where's the footage? Where's the dash cam footage? So far, it doesn't exist. But we're going to give internal affairs as much time as they need, okay, to find the magical footage. But my point is, they have these policies, but they don't abide by them. So what's going to be coming soon here to Indian River County is we're going to have a seminar. We're going to get all the fine folks from Gifford who get harassed and everything else, and we're going to explain to them, this is your rights. These are your rights. Listen, I'm sure Sergeant Abalo and, and Detective Smith would love to hear from you. So you see this cool little form? This is that young citizen's complaint form. Now, if you, like me, don't want to deal with good old Abalo, then you can just turn this little cute form in to Deborah Worley. Shouts out to Miss Worley. Very nice lady. Always been very respectful to me. You can teach the other goons there a thing or two, Miss Worley. I know you guys watching, so how you doing? So you fill this little cute thing out, and then someone from Internal Affairs will be right here. Sorry, my live stream was uh, interrupted there by uh, Sean Elliott. Hey, Sean, can you give me a minute here, buddy? I'm trying to finish up my live, um, my live video. So, um, basically, we're going to hold a seminar and explain. I'm back. Because people need to know this. Because not only can you request for dash camera videos, the audio that goes with the dash camera, you can even record videos from... Uh, when you walk inside an administration, now their cameras work. There's so many different things that you can request. Videos from inside the jail, but you got to do it quick. Because a lot of these videos, they magically don't get stored. Ask me how I know. Okay? Okay? And we also have a right to find out when they're looking up our names in the David system. After all, they pretty much force someone to resign from their own agency for using this system, apparently. But you can go one step even further. You have an FCIC and an NCIC check that you can send an email to Florida Department of Law Enforcement and find out how many times are these goons from any county looking up, who's this crazy Michael C. Marsh? You have access to all that. And we're going to make sure that you guys have access to all of that. So I just want to make a quick video about that and also stay tuned because the sheriff's office I'm taking a little break okay we're moving on to bigger and better Indian River County Clerk of the Courts I will see you guys soon County Commissioner's meeting I'm coming back Dylan I know you miss me the county attorney he uh, I don't know if he do doesn't understand law too much but I did all the research he asked me to do and you know what? I found out the governing board, Dylan, who is who oversees the indigency packages. You know, the fraud that I've brought to your attention, you and the clerk, that you guys don't care about. You know what board governs that fraud? Nobody. So guess what? I won't tell no one else. But if you fill out an indigency with the clerk of the courts, they have no way, no way of checking it. You know why? Because they don't care. There's fraud running rampant in your county, people. And you know what the clerk says? Eh. Oh, let me tell you something else about the clerk. So not only can you do these cool public records requests um, with the sheriff's office, but you can also do them for that clerk of the court. You see? So I just sent emails because I was told I can't re record inside the courthouse. So you know what I did? I said, hmm, uh, do me a favor. Can you tell me what policy you're referring to, clerk? So the, the clerk was tired of dealing with me because he couldn't answer my questions. So he referred me to this nice lady named, uh, I believe it's Laura. Where is, where is her card? Uh, let me see here who that was that I talked to. Yes, Laura McClever. And... Immediately, I got an answer back. I said, send me the policy or procedure that pertains that the as far as audio recording or video recording within the cashiers or throughout the courthouse, not the courtroom, because then that's the discretion of the judge. You, see, you know what she wrote me back? Can you, can you see that? 
Oh, let me read it to you. It says, Good afternoon, Mr. Marsh. The clerk's office does not have any policies or procedures that pertain to the clerks on recording audio and video within the cashiers and throughout the courthouse. You know what that means? That means it doesn't exist. Okay? They make up whatever they want as they go. Because they don't care. No one cares. But you know something? I care. I really do. So, I'm going to meet with the St. Lucie County Clerk of the Courts, who has welcomed me, welcomed me, with open arms. <laughs> For, you know what, Sean? I can't stand you. I really can't stand you. Go to sleep. I'm almost done. Anyway, let me wrap this up real quick, because apparently Sean really needs to talk to me. And, um, so, when I spoke to the, uh, she's a Deputy Chief Clerk at St. Lucie County, she said to me, no, there is no one no board who's over the indigency. Basically, it goes to us. And for those of you at home don't understand what I'm saying, let me break it down real quick. So, in the criminal realm, if you can't afford an attorney, you can get a public defender based on your income. You're indigent. In the civil area, we also have something, this pretty much the same thing. It carries over for civil. For example, dissolution of marriage, small claims cases. You can get those fees waived just by filling out the same form. And there's a Florida state statute, okay, that says exactly what the guidelines are. What the guidelines are. It's like 58.082. So the clerk here in Indian River County, she denied my indigency because she didn't like me. How could you not like me, okay? I don't get it. What do I do so wrong? I fight for body cameras, equality, all these crazy things. I know. I, I totally get it. You know, why am I so mad every time a black man gets gunned down? I, I, I know. It, that's just so normal. I don't know why I get upset about these things. You know, call me crazy. But anyway, I went in there and she denied me. And then I started recording her. And you know what she said? You're not going to record me. The same thing Deputy Davis said to me. Nobody likes to be recorded by Michael Marsh, but guess what? You don't get the luxury, public servants, to tell me when I can and cannot record. So guess what? In 2017, I hope y'all are not too busy in the clerk of the courts. Because I'm coming in, baby. Body camera, live stream, GoPro. I'm going to have so many cameras. It, listen, we're going to have every angle of the corruption of Indian River County. Okay, and from here on out, anyone I speak to, you're going to talk to me on camera. And if you don't talk to me on camera, Chris Taylor, then I'll keep putting you out. Because what is there to hide? Why can't you talk to me with cameras around? Because you are corrupt. Okay, so anyway, so I'm going to have this meeting because, oh, back to indigency. So if you can't afford these fees in a civil case, you apply for indigency and if you get approved, then you don't pay for the fees. So, but there's no board that reviews them. So there could be fraud running rampant, and all this money is being lost from, from the courts. There's, it's a loss. It's fraud. So here's how easy it is. Me and you can do this. If an indigency package was filed today, and someone says, I don't have a home, Guess what I can do? And you can do. You can go on the property appraiser's website and put in there, let's see here. Where does Miss Wanda Scott live? I see you, Queen. And I'll know where that person lives and know that they have a home. So what I don't get is it's so easy. The clerks, they have enough time to do this. How many times have you walked into the Indian River County Courthouse, okay, and there was a line out the door. Everyone's paying traffic tickets. Child support is a line out the door. That doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. Okay? They have time for us. So give them something to do. Give them something to do. So I will have this meeting, and I will be right back in Dean River County, and I'll be at the county commissioners, and I just want to talk to you, Mr. Smith. I send you emails. They, you don't respond to them. It hurts my feelings. Why don't I just want to talk to you, public servant? I don't get it. To this day, 
No one wants to talk to me. Your sheriff doesn't want to talk to me. Your clerk of the court doesn't want to talk to me. Good old Chris Taylor from the state attorney's office doesn't want to talk to me. Why? What are you nervous about? I just begun. I just begun. What's up, CJ? And I hate you, Sean. Real quick, not to get uh, leave Indian River County for a second, but in Palm Beach County, speaking of justice for court, I'm waiting for videos to come back from West Palm Beach Police Department when they arrested me for keeping the beat alive. And I requested these videos, and magically they didn't exist. Magically, they didn't exist. But then the chief tells me, oh, we do got a video of you, Mr. Marsh. I'm going to send it to you. What? You got a video? Then Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office told me, there's no video of you, Mr. Marsh. But then I went to Internal Affairs. They got videos of me. Isn't that weird? I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to say, as far as lost videos go, that in the case of the killer cop that killed Corey, that magically a Department of Transportation video is going to surface. That's what I believe. Because if you want to sell me the dream like I posted earlier, that we have cameras when storms are coming, and we can see in Tampa Bay a bridge, and you're going to tell me the night that the killer cop was told Corey was broken down, because that's basically how he knew, okay, that there was no video of that. It's crazy. But this is what happened. This is what's happening. So we're going to Lake Worth, February 5th. We're going to the killer cop's neighborhood. We're coming, okay? So I don't know the chief of Lake Worth too good, but hopefully that chief will reach out to me because it's not a matter of if I'm coming. I'm coming, okay? So stay tuned. And we got some more corruption to uh, uncover here. And it's going to be a great week ahead. Also, first Tuesday of February, I'll be in front of the city council because we're going to get body cameras at the Vero Beach Police Department. Vero Beach Police Department believes in transparency, accountability, accessibility. Wow. When's all the other agencies? Now, this month is the sixth month of the body camera initiative for Palm Beach Gardens. You know why that's special? Because Palm Beach Gardens went to body cameras because of the Corey Jones tragedy. One of their clauses, right in their body camera initiative, and I got it here somewhere, but it's like a million pages. But what it says in a nutshell is, any stranded motorist, your body camera must be turned on. You have to record it. That was based on the Corey Jones tragedy. So, with all of these negatives, finally came out of a positive. But you know what? The city of Garns going to body cameras isn't good enough. We need... A mandate. A mandate. I don't care if it's unfunded. We make an unfunded mandate for every agency to get body cameras. We need body cameras. Where's everyone that was jumping on the Corey Jones wagon in the beginning? And, and we had all these great ideas. We got all these politicians that were reelected. Who is going to help me mandate body cameras? What are we waiting for? Because you know what House Bill 93 did? It didn't mandate body cameras. Everyone's, oh, man, now, because of Corey's case, body camera. No. You know what it did? See, reading is fundamental. Sometimes you got to get off Facebook and Twitter, and you got to actually read. If you read the House bill, which I did, I don't know if some of the lawyers, I don't know if they did, but I read it, and it said that if an agency had, had body cameras, then... They were held to a higher standard in those policies for cloud storage and administrator and all these beautiful things that mean nothing, okay? Because it did not force these agencies, these cops who play judge, jury, and executioner to have to wear body cameras. It didn't do it. So you know what? I'm ready to go to Tallahassee. Who else is coming? Where's all these powerful people? I got to over 3,000 friends, politicians, attorneys, all these important influential people who enjoy hearing themselves talk. What are we doing? I could protest until my face turns blue. The first week of February is my last protest involving Corey's case. Now, I have many other things to protest. Now, the reason for that is 
Now it's about legislature. Now it's about enacting change. Okay? I just want to finish up the protests of the three that were involved. Went to the state attorney. We did that. Union president did that. Now we go to the killer cop's front door. It's time. And then I'm done. And then it's time to have this conversation on body cameras a little more seriously. So anyways, enjoy your Sunday, people. Um, but you know what? That's what we need. We're going to have a seminar in Indian River County. And um, it's time. And shout out to Malik because uh, he's one of the main ones that was uh, also spearheading this. But you know what? I, as you heard other people say, the sheep must wake up. It's time to wake up. Because if you think the cops are telling you the correct thing when it comes to the law, you're sadly mistaken. Because these videos that are getting ready to be put out by me, you will see that a cop can't even tell you if you have to carry your ID. Something so simple, right? Isn't that simple? That's like, that's like my daughter coming to me and saying, Daddy, what does blue and yellow make? I don't know. I think it makes pink, honey. You know? We let them play judge, jury, and executioner. And they can't even tell you the law on if you have to have an ID? Doesn't that make you wonder if they also are arresting people without probable cause? Or illegally detaining them? Violating civil rights? Hmm. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? 2017, you will wonder no more. Because the exposure in Indian River County with the good old boys and goons from the sheriff's office will be on main stage. I promise you that. And I will star in it. Starring me, Michael Seamarsh. So in the words of my new, newly formed friend, Sergeant Michael Pierce, I am pro team success. And as I finish all my videos, shouts out to all my friends at the courthouse. I know some of y'all watching. It's I am, you are, we are. It's team success. And we wake up early during the week to fight corruption. Kobe!